Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Try Morning here, and today, I'm playing Banjo-Kazooie. This is a classic game, of course, from the N64 era of Nintendo. Created by Rare, back in their golden days of video game development in the 90s. And it's been a while since Rare released a game quite like this. These days, they do have some people who are formerly from Rare, they're now working for a new company called Platonic, and they're making a game called Ukulele, which is very similar in theme and ideas to Banjo-Kazooie. Whenever that does come out, I am looking forward to giving that a shot and playing it, probably doing a Let's Play of that as well, because I enjoyed this game thoroughly growing up and I'm sure I'll enjoy that too. Yes, yeah, so you have 2D, Banjo Sister Plane, and Mumbo Jumbo, the Magical Shaman. I guess they replaced that with a Microsoft logo instead of the Nintendo one, since this is the Xbox version of the game. All rendered in high definition, in widescreen of course. And all around it's also an easier version of the game to play because originally the N64 version they had a problem where they couldn't store all the notes they would collect on each level. So whenever you would die you'd have to recollect them all again. In this version of the game you don't have to do all that stuff so that's quite nice. Because I am going to be trying to collect everything in this game or at least all the things that matter. So we'll be giving that a shot. Oh, and another thing I'm going to try to do in this game is I'm going to try to get all the secret bonus items that you normally wouldn't be able to get in the N64 version. Now, they're supposed to be used to unlock certain things in the sequel this game, but now we're playing the Xbox version, we should be able to do that. Originally, it's supposed to be like some kind of bonus feature to enable with the Nintendo 64 disk drive, but since that never came to fruition, we never actually got to get those power-ups, so that's kind of a shame. But now we have the Xbox version, apparently they've restored those and you can actually get them this time. Alright, so I think we know how to play the game. Just gonna have a quick look around the menu before we get started. So let's see, we have a choice of games, Banjo sleeping, Banjo cooking something up in a goldfish desperately trying to get out. <laughs> oh and yes, Banjo playing the Game Boy, the classic version in fact. At least I kept that around, right? I guess they didn't remove that from this version, even though they took out the other references to Nintendo. That's pretty funny. Microsoft doesn't really have a handheld system, so I guess they couldn't bother with that. Otherwise, I expect the game to be mostly the same, other than those few changes. Ah, looks like we have some foul odor seeping up from underneath this door. Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why it's grunty any day, she really takes my breath away. <coughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's exactly Tom Cruise from uh, Top Gun or anything like that, but sure, if you say so. Err, uh, but there is this girl. What do you mean, this cannot be? There's no one prettier than me. Why it's 2D. Young and small, she's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Well, this cannot be. And we have Gruntilla snappy into action here with a weird little delay, but nonetheless, she's getting on the move. Ah, those N64 graphics. Even upgraded to the Xbox 360, they're still not quite up to par. That rather flat looking flower bed. Ah, Noble Bottles. Hi there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure. Sure you will. We'll see about that. Yeah, it looks like Banjo's having none of that. Sleepy as usual. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too! If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be. To be fair, Gruntilda, I don't think she really knows about you very much. Only seems to be Dingpot that said that. Is that your brother there? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Yeah, Bottles, well, moles can't really see, so fair enough. 
I guess he wouldn't be able to see who that is. But that's clearly not Banjo. Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity! Let me go, you ugly old hag. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. Oh no, she's got her. Somebody, help. Banjo, wake up. Now. Come on, Banjo, any day now. Oh. What do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside. There's trouble. Yeah, Banjo's in no rush, unfortunately. Alright, and so our adventure begins. Yeah, after that cutscene, pretty much free to do whatever you want. But for now, we'll talk to Bottles. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sided mole, as you can see from not being able to tell the witch from Banjo. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy, Kazooie. Sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down, out of the sky, and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous. So you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Well, finally made it rhyme in the end. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves. Or press B if you think you're already good enough. Well, I mean, we are pretty much already good enough, but we'll take the training, if only to show it off. We'd like some help, Bottles. What do we do? Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press X to call me. See you soon. And there's a way to hurry Bottles along with the talking, but I figure at least for the intro cutscene we'll let him uh, say his piece. Yeah, I don't think we can really do many moves right now. We have to gain them before we can actually perform them. If you do skip learning the tutorial phase of the game, then you can pretty much do the moves right away. Oh, the camera controls, yes. Very important stuff. They're on the right stick, simple enough. Jeez. <laughs> Try this then, Beaky. Tap the right or left bumper to move the camera behind Banjo. Is that all worm breath? No, hold the right or left bumper to keep the camera behind you. Your feathery butt. Try it out. I'll see you at the next molehill. Yeah, so, sorry for now, I'm probably gonna be rushing the text along because it does take a while that the moles speak out. I think we're gonna learn some more jumping here. Hmm, your jump could do with some help. Pa, what do moles know about jumping? More than you, press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. There we go. Come on, feathers, you can give him a hand. Why? I'll look silly, I know it! Jump, then press A again in the air for a double jump. There we go. That's it, we're ready to move on. Not until you learn this one. First, you must stand like this. What, wearing ridiculous glasses and a silly grin? I'm not listening. <laughs> Hold the right or left trigger, then press A for the mighty flap flip jump. There we go. That's all the jumps, keep practicing. All right, and this, here we got an empty honeycomb. And if we collect enough of those, six, we're gonna get an extra piece of health, as this guy will tell us right here. Yeah, collect six of us to increase your energy bar. I can actually get six right here in this little opening area, so we'll try to get them all. Fancy learning to swim underwater. Ooh, sounds difficult, and I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo, I wanna swim. Spill the beans, Specky. It's funny that the bird is the one that wants to learn how to swim rather than the bear. Press X to dive, go on, give it a try. So, this is simple enough stuff. And I think we can get another piece under here. So let's go. While underwater, Banjo can press A to kick his legs. And the winged wonder can press X to use her wings. So A is a slower swim, but it's more precise. And if you press X, you can do a quicker swim, but... Kazooie kind of uh, 
as you can see, it goes in these long bursts instead, so you have a bit less control over where you're swimming. But it does get you around from place to place a little bit quicker. So most of the times you want to use that. And if we can get in this tree here... Oh wait, do you have to learn how to climb trees separately? Hold on, let's see. Is there a molehill around here? Well, for now, we'll try to get this over here. Because there's something else we can get first. We come this way. See another empty honeycomb piece. And back that way. We have an extra life we can collect. And, uh, yeah. So the extra life will tell us a bit about it. Very nice. Maybe this small hill will teach us how to climb trees. I guess we'll see. Hey, Banjo. I hope you're not afraid of heights. Yeah, it probably is. I'm not. Tell me about flying, dude. <laughs> not yet. Banjo, jump onto a tree, then use the left stick to climb up or down. Alright. I guess the tree over there we have to climb, but we'll do this one first since it's nearby. We find plenty of other things to climb. Oh, I'm sure we will. Game's just beginning. Well, there we go. Only need two more. Let's see if we can find them. Oh, I know there's one over there anyway. So let's get to move on. I think in Banjo Tui, when you come this area, there's actually even more stuff you can do. And uh, yeah, that does mean we'll be coming here again in the future. But really, after we finish this part of the game, it won't be until the next one. My beak barge attacks need the help of old chicken legs. At least I've got some legs, short stuff. Hold the right or left trigger, then press X for a powerful beaky barge. Right. So that's pretty simple enough. We do want to destroy them all. See, Bandra, she is useful. I'm trying this move out on you next, Jam Jars. There we go. So let's get out of this area here. And... Hmm. Ah, that's right. I think we need to do this first before we can do all the other stuff. Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press X when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it out on? Well, how about bird brain? <laughs> Just try it, bottle boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. Oh yeah, this looks like a challenge, all right. Ah, there's Topper. Whack him, Banjo. All right, we'll give him a whack. Poor Topper. Here we go. Wow, nice one. Try another. Hey, I want some moves. Now try my fearsome forward roll. I want to learn to fly now. <laughs> roll by running and pressing X. I'll see if I can find some some ball for you to practice on. Really? I guess that's decent enough. Bullseye. One more. Stop rolling. I feel sick. It's time for the buzzer to learn a trick. It better be a good one, Squinty. Try out the rat a tat rap by jumping and pressing the X in the air. Now where's Kali Wobble? Right over there. Hmm, not bad, Featherface. Give me another, Bog Eyes. And there we go. That's it. You've learned all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the Spiral Mountain, and I'll tell you what to do next. Alright, so the adventure continues from here. I think there's one more thing we can do before we get going. There should be another extra life on the house. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can climb up here. There we go. Actually, why don't we go inside the house while we're at it? Not that there's really much in here. We can see a nice little tropical location right over there. Well, do keep that in mind for later, because we might see it again at some point. We got the goldfish, pictures of Banjo and his family, which I guess includes just his sister. And yeah, we do got a first person mode. We use the Y button. Some more locations, and yeah, otherwise, a uh, nice, cozy little house. Alright, let's get going then. So now we got the tutorial done, we do have a bunch of enemies that have spawned. Oh, low. 
I probably should use the term enemies loosely because they basically ignore you. Pretty much can't get hurt by them unless you run right into them. I don't think they come at you anyway. Let's see. Oh, maybe I was wrong. There we go. Hmm. I'm sticky, tasty honey. Ooh, okay. That is good to know. So these guys can hurt you if you get too close to them, but you pretty much have to go out of your way like I did to actually get hit by them. So it's not too hard to avoid these guys. We will be getting some tougher enemies once we get to the main levels though. Although, it shouldn't be too tough. Hopefully. I guess we'll see how much trouble we actually have though. Alright, and this is Spiral Mountain. Wonder how it got its name. Well done guys. You're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, Bottle Boy. I fixed the bridge, so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, Bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Yeah, that's right. So, over the course of the game, Bottles is going to show up in his molehills and teach us a few different moves as the game progresses. So each level, Bottles will have like a move for us, or maybe two even. At least for the beginning levels. And yeah, we can see Grunty's evil plan in action. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Yes, mistress. Grunty, power is on. Soon be ready. Banjo, help. Well, it's going to be some time before we actually get there. Luckily, it apparently takes forever for that machine to actually work. There he is. The fun begins. My tricks and traps will see who wins. Although, we do get the first Jiggy piece already. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. Yeah, so that wasn't much trouble now, was it? But that's basically what we need to get to the first level of the game. A nice little picture of Grunty here, which can't really see too well. But yeah, the first level, right over here. And all we need is that one Jiggy to actually access it. The way that the levels work in this game is you get these Jiggy pieces. You step on this little switch here, and you just place the Jiggy to complete the picture. Which is essentially what Bottles is saying right over here. And for this place uh, that we have to go to, we only need one Jiggy, so it's not too much trouble. Well, we're not just going to leave, so there we go. That's it. The picture's complete, and the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open. That was such an easy fit. The others may test your wit. We'll see about that, Grunty.